Hey, Flosstube. Vanessa, the singing stitcher here. I already recorded this once on my webcam, laptop webcam, and I, I don't know how to upload it because I'm not very tech savvy. I'm used to using iPhones, iPads for recording video with the band, so I've switched to the iPad. I have a bit of a life update. Well, a long life update. Uh, 2019, I didn't stitch a lot. Um, I was in a funk, sort of mentally, emotionally. Um, wasn't really in a good place, but whatever. No stitchy bug. I would really just sit on the couch and do nothing. So it's recently returned, probably because I can't do anything but stay at home right now. Uh, so I've been doing I've been doing a lot more stitching recently. Uh, let's see. Uh, some of you may know that I worked, I say worked at a liquor store here in the town that I I live in. I quit that job um, in the summer, in August, basically because I had my day job, the liquor store, and the band. So I felt like I had three jobs. And I had spent the better part of a year sick with a cold, possibly from working at the store. So I decided it, the small amount of money I was making wasn't really worth being sick anymore. So I gave my notice. Um, I miss the people, but I'm really enjoying my, fr my free time, so. We used to have band practice every weekend until uh, we weren't allowed to get together with people. Hopefully we'll get back to normal soon, but I don't know. It would be nice to practice and get out there and play some gig gigs again, but whatever. Um, let's see. I didn't really advertise much about it. I, well, advertise, talk about it much. My mom had cancer. Uh, she's been battling cancer, I'm gonna say for at least 10 years, um, or at least it seems that way. She uh, was originally diagnosed and had surgery and had everything removed and it came back. So she unfortunately passed away on March 27th of this year. Um, yeah, it's kind of crappy, uh, especially with what's going on right now. Um, we have myself, my husband, and my father here in, in Alberta. My brother lives in Scotland, and the rest of my relatives are in Ontario, Canada. So with what's going on, nobody could come help us do anything or help support us, basically. So my husband and I have been there for my dad a lot. We, yes, we're breaking social distancing rules. We are all healthy. Um, the man is grieving his wife. So sorry, but we're going to his house. He's coming here, whatever. Um, he's, my dad's doing, doing as well as he can, really. He, um, Easter weekend was pretty hard for him. Friday, April 10th was my mother's birthday. And then, of course, Easter. So the first birthday, first Easter without her was rough. 12 days after that, we had to put my dog, Lola, down. My profile picture for YouTube is two beagles on a couch. We put our male, Mika, down. Uh, November 30th, 2018. And we just put Lola down on, oh my goodness, I don't, April 8th, 2020. Uh, that was really crappy timing, to say the least. Um, I've pretty much, I, I feel like I've dealt with my quota of loss for right now. Hoping there isn't any more coming. Um... Let's see, I'm working from home, as a lot of us are, if we're not frontline workers or essential workers. Um, I'm set up at the kitchen table with my personal laptop and a second monitor. And my husband works 
well, he can work from home whenever. So he's got an office in our basement. So I'm at the table in the kitchen. He's in the basement. So we have some degree of separation. Um, so yeah, I think, oh, so with the virus, what's going on? Um, we've been buying my dad's groceries and doing the beer run for him because, you know, he deserves a beer. So I think that's, that's about it really. Other than the fact that I'm getting a lot more of my chores done because what else is there to do? So that will be the life update, which took a lot longer the first time I did this. So need a drink. Drinking Coke. Which is likely going to mess with my sleeping this evening. So I watched my last video, and like I said, it's been a year. Um, I also realized that in 2019, I said I was going to do the Stitch 9 Challenge. Failed. <laughs> Not surprising, especially when I lost my stitchy bug. Uh, what I was working on... In that video was a primitive hair piece called Witchy Tea Time. And I finished that. I'll just show you here. There we go. This is stitched on 18 count pebble gray using DMC thread. Like I said, it's a primitive hair piece. Let me see. I have I have the other monitor behind the iPad here, and I'm just gonna look to see when I finished, started and finished. Oh, that's small. Make that big. Oh, too big. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Bear with me. Okay, started October 18th. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be this bigger. It's too far away. Yes, started October 14th, 2018 and finished March 31st, 2019. So, uh, that was basically it from the Stitch 9 Challenge that was finished in 2019. I, well, no, there was a couple others. Let's see. Where are my notes? So, let's see. Stitch 9, I had Witchy Tea Time. Yeah, I know that that, oh, and I had finished The White Witch Midnight Ride and a quote that I stitched for my mother. But the other one's not done. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I've been working on currently. It is not finished because I don't have enough of the green. So I have not started stitching the green and won't until I get some of the green floss. It is on order from Traditional Stitches, which is an LNS in the northwest portion of Calgary, Alberta. So this is a pattern I purchased on Etsy from a store called Stitch Bucket. I have purchased four Star Wars patterns in total from them. Um, a Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, the Death Star, and Boba Fett. This is Boba Fett. Everything on it is done except for the green. This is stitched on 14 count Black Ada using DMC thread. And like I said, absolutely everything here is stitched except for the green. So when that comes in, I'm looking forward to some mindless stitching, just filling in the blanks. So yeah, there you go. I'm just tossing them onto the ironing board because I had it, I had it out so I could iron some things. Stitching. I don't iron clothing. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Boba Fett was started April 23rd, 2019. I had done a little bit of the white in the helmet in the middle. Here, let me get it. I had done... A little bit of this white and then put it away because I knew I didn't have enough of the green and I thought oh I'll get to Michael's at some point and get the green and just go from there but I never did get the green every time I went to Michael's I of course didn't have the DMC number I needed 
on a list or whatever. So I just said, forget it. And finished it as much as I could without it. And like I said, once I get it from traditional stitches, I will actually finish it. So let's see, a couple other patterns, projects I stitched in 2019. Started and finished in 2019, I should say, um, were, uh, let's see, these are butterflies. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my spreadsheet, so whatever. Uh, these are by Happiness, and they are charted, well, the pattern is charted for, I think it's four DMC colors, and I decided to use a variegated silk that I got from Steph Francis Threads. Steph Francis is my aunt. She's my dad's sister. And she's in the UK. And so I've placed a couple orders with her. But sometimes she sends me just random threads. 12 strand silks. Uh, pearl cottons. She does 6 stranded cottons. She's got rayon. She's got filament silk. She's... All kinds of things that I should have brought with me, but I didn't. So, this is what I'm calling Butterfly Green. So, as you can see, it's stitched in a variegated green floss. This is 18 count off-white Ada using two strands of the 12-stranded silk. So, that was started May 4th. May 17th, 2019, and finished June 9th, 2019. Done a lot of this stitching at work at the store. So the next one is the same butterfly stitched in a variegated blue. So this is again 12 stranded silk from Steph Francis in a lovely variegated blue. This is stitched on the same off-white 18 count Ada as the green. And the blue one was started June 20th, 2019 and finished October 13th, 2019. So yeah, took a little longer, but again, I lost my stitchy bug and wasn't working at the store anymore, so. There we are. I do have a lot of other colors of the of the silk. So there will be more butterflies. There will be more patterns that I can do as monochromatic. So that's cool. So next up are my two oldest whips. Oldest whips. Both of these were started in 2017. The first one I'm gonna show you was started for Stitch Mania. 2017. So, May 6th. It is a Dimensions, Dimensions Gold Petite. Um, so it was a kit. It is stitched on 18 count navy blue Ada using the floss provided. And I would like to present to you Mystical Light. Now, the pattern called for everything that was white to be stitched in white with a oh, Chronic 032, the pearl blending filament. But I decided I didn't want like the clouds to be sparkly and I didn't see a reason for his sash to be sparkly or even his beard. So the only thing I put Chronic in is the crystal ball, which I know you can't see, but there is, there's gold metallic thread because he's got stars on his robe. There's some back stitching done in the gold metallic. So I'm quite happy that that is finally finished. So that was started May 6, 2017 and finished February 23rd, 2020. All right, this next one was a new year, new start for me for 2017. It is a Dimensions Gold Kit. I believe the finished 
size is something around 16 by 11. I don't know, I didn't measure it. It is stitched on 16 count light blue Ada. Threads I used were provided in the kit. So again, this was started January 1st, 2017 and finished yesterday, Monday, April the 20th, 2020. And I would like to present Frosty Morning by Dimensions. I finished back stitching this tree yesterday. So there you have it. My oldest whip is complete. And it was nice and perfectly straight the first time. It's just I folded it and put it away. Thinking I could upload that video and it wouldn't work. So there we have it. Whip finishes life update. Plans. I don't know why I'm going to say I'm going to make plans because I don't keep them. I don't. I, uh, a couple things that were on my, sorry, on my, um, uh, Stitch Night Challenge may get started. I don't know. One of them was this Rudolph ornament kit. Oh, glare. Oh, the plastic is too wrecked to do anything about it. So I have not started a single one of these. Maybe I'll get this done this year. I don't know. This may just go back down to the basement. We'll see. Um, and the other thing that I have or had is this. This is called Bay Horse, and it is by John Sorrell. Sorrells? Yeah, John Sorrells. It is a companion piece to Portrait of a Cult is right here which I've already stitched. I stitched this one on a 14 count peach Ada and I plan to stitch this one on the same 14 count peach Ada. This is in an old magazine cross stitching country crafts. It is September October 1989. I think this is going to be my new start. Um, I say that because I have the fabric cut, I've got a floss box with the floss in it because I pulled it for stitch nine, so it makes sense to do it. We'll see. Um, one of the things that's just been sitting around up here in my basket under my coffee table is another Dimensions Gold Kit. Um, yeah, I, I bought it, I had it shipped to my husband's warehouse office because it's the easiest address to ship things to but I just haven't taken it downstairs yet so it, it may be calling to me and I'm sorry there's going to be glare because I'm not taking it out of the package and it is horses by a stream this will be done on the 18 count ivory Ada that is provided and we'll see how long this one takes me once I get it started. Oh, sorry. I've got you precariously balanced here. I didn't really mean to shake the table. Let's see. I am currently working on dealing with the extra floss from Frosty Morning. I used to, when I got a kit ages ago, I used to throw the extra floss out because what, what was I going to do with the floss? But there are flush conversions. You can convert dimensions thread to DMC. So why not use that floss? So what I've been doing is creating my own floss cards with the leftovers. And as you can see, I had a lot of leftovers from Frosty Morning. Well, this one here is from... Yeah, this one here is from the, the Wizard Mystical Light. But that's what I do. I take old floss from Dimensions kits or Mill Hill kits and create a card. I've got um, some cardstock I got from the office. 
and um, these were signature cards for people who had signing authority and we don't use them anymore so I decided to take them and use them for floss cards. So yeah, all I do is I pull the extra floss off, look up the number, translate it to the closest DMC, and there we are. So what I do is if I have a project that say it calls for 519, I'll use this first instead of the DMC. Now, if it turns out that I have, say, only a little bit of the thread that is called for, then what I'll do is I will combine this with the DMC. I'll stitch with one, th one thread of the dimensions floss and one thread of DMC. And basically you're tweeting them, blending them, whatever you wanna call it together so that when you actually do get to the DMC die lot, there isn't the glaring difference. Or at least I find there isn't. So yeah, that is, I'm, I'm almost finished. I've got one more card started. I don't wanna make a lot of noise here. So yeah, one more card started. That'll get this finished. And then I can feel like I can start a new, a new whip. All right, let's see. Plans continued. In my notes, I have finished Frosty Morning. Check. Finished Boba Fett. Well, I'm finished as far as I can go. Let's see. You know what? Maybe I'll start a Mirabilia or an Orc Orbit. Maybe I'll start my first Passione Ricamo. Uh, maybe I'll start a new primitive hair, uh, an old magazine pattern, one of my kits. Uh, maybe a Christmas pattern, maybe a Halloween, maybe another Star Wars. I don't know. I don't know what's calling to me right now. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I may just start that, that horse head and see how far I get before the green shows up for the, uh, the Boba Fett. So... Wow, definitely shorter than the first one. I would like to say thank you to my subscribers for sticking around. I know I go through my sub subscription list every so often, and if someone hasn't uploaded a video in a year, I unsubscribe. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for liking, for commenting, um, and I hope everyone is well. Um, I can't promise that I'll do monthly videos, can't promise that I'll do videos every two months, but I do sort of miss this. Um, I've enjoyed catching up watching FlossTube videos while working from home. So yeah, maybe I will get back into this. We'll see. Um, for now, take care everyone and keep stitching. Thanks. Bye.